guys, Rusty K here. Wanted to throw up this video. Dr. Cranky was asking for some year-end reviews uh, of where you are, uh, what you've done for the year. <clears throat> I haven't been in the community quite yet a year, and uh, I think I, I looked back on my channel, and my first uh, intro video was on March 20th, so it's been about almost eight months, I guess. Um, but I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you what I did do for the year and where I'm at now. I um, want to thank all my subscribers to begin with. I don't do that enough, and, and I apologize. Uh, it, it's dumbfounding to me to realize that I have over 300 subs, but uh, I really do appreciate it. You guys have been supportive. You guys have given critiques when I've needed it, and uh, it's because of you guys that I'm able to do um, even the caliber of stuff I'm doing now, which is which is nothing compared to you guys. But uh, I just thought this would be kind of fun to sort of go through the timeline of uh, – but the cars that I did, I may get some out of order, but I don't think I ever brought this out. I had told the story that the reason I even started building models um, back in March was uh, I wanted to get my son off the Xbox, and, and I used to do models when I was a kid, you know, 12, 13 years old, and I didn't do a lot of them, but uh, I remember I had fun doing them, and, and I figured I would get him off the Xbox. So we went out and bought a Dodge Viper kit, bought some starter paints, and this is before I even knew anything about YouTube. Didn't even, you know, I just looked at the directions and just sort of did it. And it ended up being this. Uh, as you can see, the, I've got the tire in, in, inside here because this thing just keeps falling off. We never really completed it. Uh, you know, this is just sort of what it came out as. Uh, this was the first the first build um, that we did, you know. I mean, and, but you know what? This is the one that started it all. Uh, my son was done after about 10 minutes. And I, st I attempted to complete the build, and even though it came out sort of, you know, like this, um, I still had a blast doing it. <laughs> and then I went on YouTube, I'm like, there's got to be a better way than, than, than what I'm doing. And uh, lo and behold, I go into YouTube and search, you know, how to build model cars, and I found you guys. And so this is sort of the Dodge Viper that started it all. Um, he wanted to do a, a, a late model car here, so this is what we did. Um, you know, and we you know we played around with it a little bit, got the decals in there, and and you know the paint job sucks, but you know this is the monster that started all of all of this. Um, and my wife hates me for it. No, no, she's she, she, she's cool with it. But that's what started it all. Then I found you guys, and uh, the rest is sort of history. But uh, this is the bad boy that started it all, so I thought I'd break it out. Um, that was what we did back in, in March, and that started the thing. After that kit, my second build was the 57 Ford Custom. This was my first uh, attempt at acrylics, and these things are getting really dusty out here. Um, I, I, I do this in my garage, but... I need to find it better. I need to take this whole shelf inside. I just like it because I think it's a good backdrop. But this was the 57 Ford. As you can see, I, I put the wheels on backwards. These are supposed to be flipped around. They're sitting up too front. You guys remember this. Um, I just never fixed it. I could flip that over, but, you know, I just sort of keep it. So that was the second car that I did. Um, the third car that I did, I believe, was the... Um, which one did I do? The 37 Ford Coupe, I think. And this one came out all right. This was, uh, you know... I started getting better with this build. Uh, you know, the engine came out pretty good. I started to do a little more detail work. Wasn't real good with windows. I, this is my first two-tone job I did, and it was nice because it was separate. I didn't have to tape anything off. They came in separate pieces. Uh, I had a little bit of fitment issues with this, um, but uh, this was the second build that I did. Um, still learning, you know, sort of going through the process. Um, and then after that, I believe I did the Camaro. This may have even been the second build. I, I don't remember. Um, but this was the Camaro. I remember I did this with, a, with an acrylic um, metallic color. And uh, didn't quite get all the way done with this one. Um, uh, there's the engine. You know, I mean, it was, it was all right, you know. Learning, playing along, but it was a fun build, you know. All these were fun. Um, but, uh, so that was that was in there. And then I think I went to, it may have been the 41 pickup. And this one drove me nuts at the end. Um, I could not get this thing to fit right. And I could still go back and fix this. Um, well, as you can see. 
Uh, I couldn't get this to fit on right properly here. It, it came down into sort of like a V. Um, so I had some fit issues at the end. Everything else was, was, was okay, you know. It wasn't bad. This was also acrylic paint. Um, but I attempted to do the bed. You can see it's coming apart here. i got to re-glue this. I did the bed, you know, with some popsicle sticks. and So that's then this is going to end up in the junkyard diorama once I finish that. Um, after that, I think it was... I don't know if you guys remember this. This one I never put out because I never finished it because it, it drove me nuts. I went to the... Uh, 66 Chevy Nova, um, and it's not on here because it's sort of right here in pieces. Um, I never finished it. it. It frustrated the hell out of me. Um, I attempted to do some two-tone paints on this and to do some, some detail on the dash, and, and uh, the paint job on the interior just came out terrible. I got frustrated with it. Paint job didn't quite come out like I wanted it to. Um, this was also an acrylic brown, um, you know, the engine I had working. So this one never really got done. That's why it's not up here. I couldn't, you know, I just had all sorts of fitment issues with this. And it's an AMT kit. And I sort of threw that to the side and, and was done. And then um, the most recent one was the box stock build that we did. Um, this one was probably my favorite one to date. Um, starting to get my, my building skills a little better. Um, I didn't totally complete this. I still put the windshield in, um, but this one, yeah, all this dust out here. Um, this one came out really well. Um, I actually ordered the scale finishes paint for this to get the factory correct paint um, on this. And uh, there's the uh, the interior, you know, and then the engine work. You know, so this one was probably the, the my favorite so far. And you know, I'm getting better as I go along, but. Um, and right now I've got a couple three kits that I'm working on, but that's not the year-end review because they're not done. This is what I've done since I've started. Um, well, there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, and half of seven since March. Um, so that's my year-end review. I'm looking forward to 2015. I've got a ton of kits I want to do. Um, and, uh, you know, Todd and I are working on some stuff, and I've got some stuff I'm working on cutting on the willies. Um, and I have another truck that I'm working on right now, but looking forward to 2015, um, increasing my skill level, trying some new things, cutting trucks, cutting trunks open and some doors, work on some hinging, uh, work on, still working on getting, uh, that, uh, that gloss, that glass finish look that I'm going for and also working on some weathering, uh, that Todd and I are working on. But there it is guys, my 2014 year end review. I hope everybody's having a great holiday season. Merry Christmas to everybody. And uh, I'm sure Todd and I will have some videos up shortly. And as I make progress on some of the other kits I'm working on, I'll let you know. Merry Christmas guys.